Your biggest strength in life will be the perception that you have over yourself. How do you feel about yourself? Your self-worth, what is that? See, confidence is the greatest asset you could ever have. And that is built based on experience, based on living, based on what you bring to the table. You see, a doctor doesn't get paid based on the amount of time that he spends with you. You see, a lot of people say, all right, you only saw me for five minutes. How did this cost so much money? No, 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 no. You're not paying for the five minutes. You're paying for everything that he brings to the table within those five minutes. You're paying for the experience. You're paying for all the time that he spent in school to be able to quickly diagnose what's going on with you and be able to give you the proper direction of how to get better. See, that's what you're paying for. And so the doctor has an established worth of who he is. And that is based on the amount of schooling that he went through, the amount of experience that he went through, the amount of preparation and everything and being able to see things through experience. And so he has an established worth based on his time. What is your worth on your time? Just to give you perspective, a million dollars means that you are practically worth $500 an hour based on 40 hours per week. So where do you see yourself? Because you will never be a millionaire unless you really value your time that way. Unless you say, my time is worth $500 an hour. And you have to understand that things that are, are eating up your time, hours in the day, is this activity worth $500? Is spending time with this person worth $500? See, and if you wanna be a decamillion, you want to be a hundred, you want to own hundreds of millions of dollars, billionaire. Well, that goes up exponentially. So where do you see yourself? That's the greatest thing. So confidence is the greatest asset you can ever have. And I'm not just talking about a little confidence, saying, yeah, I'm confident. Okay, it's the difference between watching a movie on your smartphone, right, with awful poor sound, or Watching a movie in a movie theater with this surround sound where it's rumbling and shaking, where you jump, right? And you, you're basically immerse yourself in the character. And you're, you're basically living that reality. That's what that is. And they've done test after test to show that the more confident you are, the more uh, yes, you believe in yourself in terms of your body language, it affects other people in terms of their perception of you in addition to your own self-belief. So I'm not talking about little tiny detail, like a, I'm talking a little, a little description of being confident, like the smartphone, that's the equivalent. I'm talking about immersing yourself in the tiniest little detail, just like a huge movie theater, to know every little quirk about yourself, to be totally confident about that. They've done study after study. Um, there was one study where Doctors in white coats perform significantly better than doctors without white coats. Because it's all about the perception of yourself. And so my invitation to you is to raise your standard of who you are. Raise it, raise the bar, get there. And you could do this, get yourself a nice watch. Get yourself some nice clothes, dress sharp. You will infinitely feel a certain aura about you and, and that gravitational pull from other people will feel better that way, right? They will want to do more business with you. They want to hang out with you more. You're presenting an energy about yourself of who you are, your own self-concept. You are used to a lower standard of life a lower quality of living. If you accept that, your subconscious knows that, okay, we can get by here. If you do not accept that, if you will not accept that life, and you say, my bar is here, I do not settle for anything under it. Well, guess what, you won't. You will reach that bar. And you can only achieve these great things in the world if you truly believe you're worthy of it.